Ezra Miller. That's a great segue, by the way, because we're yeah. talking about this motherfucker afterwards. Um, Look at this. Uh, giving margaritas to kids. Yeah. Look at him. So if that, if that was the teacher, you'd be like, yeah, of course. That, that woman is giving margaritas to kids. Nope. That's the dude in the flesh. Yeah. Who is the flesh? Yeah. In the flat, whatever he is, dude. He has some kind of allergic reaction to alcohol where he completely loses his mind every time he takes a sip. If you're in the state of Hawaii and he walks in. You've got to leave. you got to run. you got to run. Out. Run out of there. He's been arrested twice. Especially if you're in the last lady. two weeks. So Johnny Depp was dropped from the Fantastic Beast movies for allegedly hitting a woman. And, and that's not even true. And Ezra Miller, Ezra Miller just like threw a chair and hit a woman in the head with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he's still going. She had a two inch gash. They had to put uh, stitches in. But this was right after what was the last karaoke in incident? I think that was involving like yeah, it was does in not, Bali or somewhere. Where was he? he doesn't. Yeah. No, Hawaii. He, Hawaii. Sorry. Yeah. Hawaii. And, and that was another time. By the way, he keeps going after chicks. That's what I'm saying. Like he he. If you're a woman. And you're in a bar, and this guy walks in. I would leave. Yeah, at least have your head on the swivel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least be ready to, you know, be in an old-fashioned cockfight. I don't know what this dude's problem is. Like, I can't, I can't figure it the fuck out with him. Drugs and alcohol, but because yeah, he's lucky to be famous and make a bunch of money. Like, for this guy, let's face it, like he's super lucky. Um, He's just a complete fucking weirdo, and somebody found this weirdo and was just like, hey, let's put him in a movie, and then all of a sudden he got another one and another one. Mm -hmm. I think he's a good actor. Yeah, he is. Like, but he's talented on screen. He has a weird kind of head, Yeah. Um, and it's, it's not a traditional casting where you're like, all right, cool. The first thing he was in, that's where I think he got lucky on, because you needed somebody like that, somebody super weird. What was it? What was Perks it? of being a wall That's it. Yeah. yeah. He was really, really good Really that. fucking good in it. And, but you needed that weirdo. At that yeah. age, and that's a hard thing to cast for. And they found the perfect dude, and now he's famous, and he's in Hawaii just fucking people up. So here's my theory, and I think you are a perfect person to answer this because you were both in Hollywood and went to a major state school. Mm -hmm. um, most celebrities, especially the ones who go to L.A. straight out of high school or like when they're 20 or whatever the fuck, they never learn how to drink. Mm -hmm. No. They do not. That same is with, true. Same with athletes, too. That I feel like true. it's very similar with athletes. Like, I have to, I feel like you had to see that a lot. Like, you see another 23 year old in LA or 25 year old in LA, and you're like Dude. drinking and drugs all the time. And uh, it, it, because you didn't have a college, right? So you just, you're skipping college, going to LA. You're 18 years old. And if you get famous at that age, yeah, God forbid you get like a big part and you're, you know, meeting with. Yeah executives or something or going they expect you in these party situations oh, 100%. to not party yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> by the way you shouldn't be drinking um my one of my uh old friends her her his uh, sister was tara reed i did a movie with her i've been friends with her for years she admitted that because she skipped and went straight to hollywood and she was just like dude they offered me the fucking world like and it you're just meetings or drinks Mm -hmm. Everybody's got drugs. You're 18 years old. You didn't go to college. That is your college. And then you got to navigate your way out of that shit. And it's just, it, it's too much, man. Yeah. Um, it's too much. Because you and I have friends who've made it out normally, like mm -hmm. fucking Lakin. Christine Lakin made it out normal where you're just like, all right, that was a child star. Yeah. Most of them don't. Um, Josh Peck talked about it on, on the other show. And it was just mm -hmm. like, most of them don't. There's just too much going on, and they're just offering you everything, and you don't know, and you didn't go to college before that. So uh, I think that was the advantage that I had going there was, like, I had already partied my ass off in college. So I wasn't really impressed by any of the things that were going on because I was like, eh, that's pretty light. You ever done a gra gravity bong in fucking West Virginia, you know? Somebody puts a nitrous balloon over the goddamn bong, and you get knocked off a wooden chair where you got a dip in your mouth? Like, that's some intense shit. Right. Some light cocaine use and, uh, and some drinking, big fucking deal. You wouldn't last yeah. two nights at West Virginia or, you know, wherever. Yeah. Insert college there at that point. Uh, imagine sh shoving some of these little fuckers to Arizona State. I think there should be a mandatory one. If you're that famous at 18 years old, you should go to Arizona State for one year after that 
and then continue on your career. Yeah, I think that's a good investment. Yes. For like the agency, your agents, your managers should 100%. just be like, you got to get to, you got to get to fucking Scottsdale, dude. And, and Tempe? And especially, Tempe, Tempe. Yeah, 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 Tempe. <laughs> yeah. But especially when, you know, you finish shooting the movie, you know you have a year before it comes out, that's the year to do it. You know you're a lead in a huge movie and you're going to get other shit. Send them right then, where it's just like, great. Because the casting directors haven't seen that movie yet, so you're not really getting movies in between until that movie comes out. Send them to Arizona State for one year. Or do you do like a party shaman sitch? What do you mean? Where like for that year, you have the opposite of a sober coach. Oh, uh, well, what you're naming is what John Lennon had. You know that, right? What? He had a, a party shaman. Um, and uh, it well, was, that was mo- hired by Yoko. Yeah, but he was doing like crazy drugs that you kind of need shaman for. I mean, just straight up like party shaman, like knowing your limits, taking you to the limits, taking you home. Georgia would be good at that. Yeah. Yeah. Taking pictures of, of stuff, being like, look, like, cool, we had fun, whatever, but this is how it ended. Yeah. You know what I mean? So maybe we stop at this or, you know what I mean? If there's these type of people around go ahead and have a shot. If there's these type of people around, we're going to have some wine and this is your limit and get it all out. Yeah. And then go back. Right. And go back to Hollywood. Otherwise, if you're just languishing there, yeesh, it's rough. It's rough. Why is he just like in Hawaii getting wasted and beating chicks up in bars? I, I don't know. I mean, I understand going to Hawaii just because you're rich and you can. And you're like, all right, great. Maybe I'm not doing another movie for six months or whatever it is, you know? Right. And you're just kind of studying up on something, whatever character you're, you're going to be. Great place to be. But if you can't handle your shit, you shouldn't go out to fucking bars. It's just the, the islands, Bob will tell you this. Bob's the, our resident Hawaii expert. Um, islands are small. The islands, yes, they're small. <laughs> and the soul is, you, yeah. you are collected and connected with everyone else there. And, and it's just not... You can't insert yourself. <laughs> it's kind of like a Johnny Depp in Hawaii. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes, yes, I, yes. I, I see more of what he's doing being like a Key West thing. Like mm. Hawaii is like, I don't know. It's not where you do everything that he's doing. No, they don't really like when white people fuck with you. No. Yeah, like not he's going to be on edge every yeah. time he walks into anywhere because they hate him anyway. So it's like go to Key West, go some like, Dingy ass place. Well, it's and too just late like, now for him because now sure. everywhere he goes, any bar he goes into, it's just you're automatically putting a bike helmet on. Yes. You know? Um, but uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with this guy. It's, it feels like a Shia LaBeouf sitch. Remember when yeah. LaBeouf was just getting wasted fucking people up out, outside? Uh, I don't know if it was like mindless and girls and stuff. I think he, he was getting in oh, fights, right? Who's the yeah. other one? Emil Hirsch. He, he was getting arrested a lot. Um, was Emil there, Hirsch. Remember Emil Hirsch jumped like over public. a table and put that girl in a fucking headlock at uh, Sundance? No. But yeah. Did anything happen with uh, LaBeouf and uh, what, Twigs or whatever the fuck he was dating? That kind of went away. FK Twigs. And yeah, that lawsuit's why. still going on. Oh, it's was, Is that legit, though? I don't know if that... He if said it was. Substance. He said it was. Okay. Yeah, I, which I, I was surprised that he admitted it, but uh, he actually came out and said, yeah, it was, and I need to work on myself, and I'm going to go away for a while. And he was, like, trying to, like, push her out of the car or something, kind of like Manziel? <sighs> Very similar, Sitch. I mean, there was yeah. a lot of fucked up shit between them. Um, with the STDs and shit, too, the herpes. Yeah. I mean, it, it got dark. It got super dark, and I... I'm sure his lawyer was pissed off about it, but he he just did it on his own and came out and said, yeah, I did some fucked up shit. It's probably why it went away. It's yeah. too dark. And probably. Then he, and then he went away too. Yeah, and because he, he said, I'm going away. He did everything I would tell him to do. Yeah. So he probably wrote her a check, you know, just one check from it, like a Transformers residual check and just said, hey, I'm sorry. Why don't you get the fuck out of here? Yeah, if you ever fuck up, you immediately disappear. Things go yep. away in 48 hours. Yeah. Yep. And then you reappear like a year later. It's yeah. fine. Like, Will Smith should stay in Dubai for a year. Not go anywhere, not say anything, don't use social media, get out of that relationship and everything else. He's already done too much. Yes, and it's not going to happen. And, and she's already doing too much. Um, yeah. She just sat down and did a Red Table talk that's going to air about the slap. And it's her and a bunch of women. And like just the look on her face in this promo video, we were just like, like she's some queen of like, oh, man, you know. I didn't want this to happen. And you're just like, come on, dude. I mean, it's fuck. She's got this huge, like, shawl She won't shawl even back on. him up No. Then. 
She's going to throw him under the bus religiously. Yep. And like, if I were him. I didn't want him to do that. I didn't tell him to do it. I don't need Stay in Dubai for a year. Yeah. yeah. Stay in Dubai for a year. Let all this shit blow over. Something fucked up is going to happen. Quietly divorce. Yeah. Something fucked up is going to happen. Uh, but however, on the quiet side, they said if, if they do get divorced, that's going to be messy. Like, they're going to get into all the shit then, I guess. So, I don't know. I, they're, you're both rich enough that, like, just divide it down the middle and move on with your life. The kids are grown, right? They're yeah. not underage, so who cares? And I think the son came out. Is it Jaden? Oh, is he gay? No, no, not came out. He oh. came out and said, you know, like, I don't love, because he's not a part of the Red Table Talk. You know, it's the three generation of women talking about everything about their family, like outing things about their, the men in their family that the guys don't have any control over. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of like, I don't love that everything's out there. Just going to say it. Yeah. Like, I do think some things should be private. It doesn't, but he has no control over what they talk and about. And it doesn't benefit her. Like, it, it seems like this is just all about her. And, uh, you know, even that video we showed on Drinking Bros, man, that was fucking ruthless. 